Hi, I'm Kenny, I'm out for a walk today heading towards the wonderful Raven's Creek Castle in Kirkcaldy. Uh, it's connected to Raven's Creek Park. This is a historic castle. Well, best we planned I was heading towards Raven's Creek Castle, but due to risk of falling masonry, they decided to close it, to close it. So, instead I'll head along the coastal path. Which is another wonderful scenic part of Fife. Uh, I'll probably only walk as far as the as far as the end of the Ravens Creek Park, but I may walk on the Dyser Harbour because that's very cool. And I'll be heading down towards the coastal path. It's called the coastal path because it follows the coast of the river. Some fantastic views along here. And occasionally some really nice wildlife. Ooh, there's something in here I don't reckon, then let's go have a look. See what it says. Some nice views along here as well, actually. Ah, this beautiful this phone can raise the phone. I don't know how you do that, it can be seen. Ah, I can't change the focus. It can do the poem, it's a rather pretty poem, it's by C.W. Berry. It's called Trawlers, maybe we'll look it up if you ever get a chance. Try I come back up this way again in a few weeks. So, this is Raven Street Park come in. There's some nice wooded bits, huge green fields in a nice place. And it's right next to the sea. So you get the wonderful salty sea here. People walk their dogs here, and play football, throw frisbees, do whatever they really want to do. It's gorgeous here. I used to come here quite a lot. Fortunately I don't get here too often anymore. As I see a little bit further away and I normally go to Beverage Park. This is a small section of the coastal path between Cody and Dyser. We have the information board here. You find Raven, so Raven Street Castle, which I will catch a video coming along this way in a moment, I'm sure. wonderful historic castle in Krakodi and a major part of Krakodi's history you should be able to see it through the trees there we go there's Raven Street Castle there Let's see if I can zoom in there we go there's Raven Street Castle and behind it is Raven Street Flats which is what the castle is obviously named after the castle you can see the lovely town of Krakodi across the water there so I'll continue for my walk and see what I can find. This part, I used to love ride my bike along this path. It's slippy and slidey sometimes, it's great fun. I'm coming out a bit that I really love to just sit and watch the water that it's just a lovely area. And I will absolutely share the view with you in a moment. So, as I said, this path for the song leads to Dysart Harbour, which is where the massively successful hit series Outlander was filmed. Or part of it was doubled as a French harbour. I find kind of entertaining that the French harbour is actually in a little town in Fife, especially concerning the old alliance. This place here is one of my favourite places to sit. You can hear the water come in, it sounds amazing and it's so common to be here. Here we go. You can just come down here and watch the water all for ages and it's lovely and relaxing and calming.
So I'm heading back up in towards Dunes Creek Park where one of my favourite things to look for is the squirrels. I don't know if we'll see any today but I'm hoping so. It's maybe a bit early in the season but it's worth a shot. Fortunately you can't see it very well from here but uh, through the trees there is a gorgeous desert harbour. Which as I mentioned is used as a filming, filming location for the Hitch Outlander. It's a nice day today. So this is me coming off of the main part of the coastal path and back out the park. Uh, there's all the people about in the park, isn't it? It's a shame the castle was closed over the water right along. It's a bit of nicely planned there. I don't know if there's any place you can get a good view of the hut We're from around this area, but I will try Or maybe more corn Oh, we have a puppy Get us some dogs uh, Heading out the wood is it there Ah, I think you might be able to get a view at the harbour along this way, I'll give it a try And if not, we don't, I'll go on there another day I like the trees here, they're very narrow and old and bro But very narrowly and old Oh, come along here and you've got a wonderful sign of spring One of my favourite signs of spring actually Down here and they are the daffodils. Daffodils are so bright and cheerful. I can't think of many flowers that are that bright and cheerful when they first pop up. It gives a good idea what season's coming. There's very few things that give them that much excitement for me for spring coming. It's just beautiful and bright uh, I don't know what to do, I hate doing this I'm really rubbish at talking to the camera so I do apologise I've got this crap out and I've probably cut some of the silence out as well uh, This is a dirt path I've cycled most of these paths and I've walked most of these paths Raven's Creek Park itself is gifted to Kirkcaldy by one of the famous families of Scottish is and they've escaped me so I'll write it in the description but it was given to the people of Scottish so that they had some place nice to visit and I would say that was done very successfully personally I do rather like this park some, pretty, some nice pretty flowers here I don't know what these are called but they're very pretty here no, let me refocus Oh well, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, it's a broad place to walk this. Some little birds flying about, you could probably hear the birds singing in the background there. Uh, I'm carrying my Canon 1200D today. And currently on it is a 75-300mm. But I took some photos of water crash on the wave worth it's on. Video. So I'm now heading on towards Dyser. Down there you can see, as I said, I'll show you the famous harbour, which was used in Outlander. It's been massive, massively successful hit show. There's an amazing cast. It's actually one of my favourite shows of the year. Uh, and it uses a lot of beautiful Scottish locations, which makes it even better by a honest in very humble opinion by including locations in Scotland on a Scottish show it made the show far better for me I think it grounded the show back to its roots and to the places that really mattered in the story it was a story set in the time of the Jacobite Rebellion which is rather cool interesting period in history It's 
so you like I said, down in the harbour today actually, it's a nice day for it and some absolutely gorgeous waves right on the water as you'd expect a harbour to be the outlander connection for me is really cool uh, the harbour has, harbor has got boats, some fishing boats, uh, I believe you get some crabbing and lobster fishing along here which is really cool personally nice that such a thing still exists and that we're in a position in this country to have such a thing exist and it's a nice place to walk along here if you ever get a chance you should definitely come the five coastal paths are amazing it covers 100 plus miles i believe of the glorious five coast which is quite incredible when you consider when you consider that it goes all the way from uh, the Tay Bridge to the Fourth Bridge, I believe, or possibly further now. So I'm walking in some steps, so I'm being rather careful. But you'll get a nice view of the harbour as we get down here. And I'll try and take some photos. I actually love taking photos of the boats down here. It's such a nice place to photograph. I love the lobster nets and things as well that you sometimes find lying about. They can make for really interesting textural compositions rather than just going for purely an image. Ah, uh, here we go, we're coming out the harbour now. You've got a nice view here. You can see the lovely boats on the water and things, beautiful. Spent more than enough time here in my youth. I used to fish off the end of the pier, which used to be really good for mackerel. I don't know if it still is. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera, I'm watching these rather variable height steps so I don't end up falling. Wouldn't do me any favours. <laughs> so here we are, down in what the location parts of the location that Outlander was filmed in. Beautiful place. This, uh, this large wall here had green screens attached to it where they could substitute things in it. It was an amazing sight to see. Fortunately, I didn't get to see it personally, but I did see photos afterwards. It's quite incredible. And I don't see any lobster nets about today, which is a shame. I rather like them. But I'll walk back on the coastal path heading to towards the park and go find my uh, fiancé and kids. Uh, oh, I like the chain down there. I like the ring in the chain. I wonder if we can get something interesting. I don't think I've got anything but it's worth a bit of for a shot and I probably need to put my tripod up if I'm going to take photos and try and record at the same time but I can't be bothered because it's heavy we've got some more lovely boats across here yeah, it's settled again and in the background there is the lovely Dyson Sea statue I love the old brick working things here, it's really quite cool. And creates a real interesting textural duck, textural mix. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not very good at talking to camera yet, this will improve over time. But uh, it's a nice place to come and I hope you enjoy seeing, seeing it as much as I'm enjoying showing it. As much as I enjoy showing it. I like this old building, I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Smith and roofing things, it just makes for a really nice image. Ah, here we have some lobster nets. I love these things, they make for a really interesting, get some interesting photos. I'm going to have a shot, I'll switch the camera off the now and have a shot. 